Hi everyone. So in this short video, we're going to show you how to create simple uh, angle joints using the Lamello Zeta. Uh, I'll be using Clamex, but the process would be the same for Tenso. Um, first, I'll be showing you how to do a 90 degree mitre joint, and then we'll go ahead and create a 45 degree sort of obtuse joint on there. But to start with, we'll do the, uh, the 90 degree mitre. First thing to do, grab your Lamello P-System configurator wheel, find your finished angle, which in my case is 90 degrees. I'm using 19 mil material. My connection is gonna look somewhat like that. We're gonna use P14 connector and we'll need to put on the four mil packer plate to the machine. So as we know, we're using the P14. We'll turn the P-System to 14 and the plunge depth round to max on there as well. We'll set our mitre fence over to 45 and put on there the 4mm packer plate that comes with the machine in the box. That machine is then set up to go ahead. What we'll be doing on here is ensuring this edge of the machine lines up with the edge of the timber. We're all nice and flush. We'll go ahead and plunge away. Uh, we'll do two cuts on each material and then create an access hole. First things first, connect the extractor there. So now we've got our four P-System slots put on the mitres there, we go ahead and put the connectors in. First thing to remember with the climbing, so we need to create the access hole. So our joint's going to be somewhat like this. I'm going to create the access holes just on the inside of this panel here. So we'll grab the group drill jig, we'll pop that into the cutout, slide that down so it's nice and secure, and just twist that there so that's then perfectly on the material. We'll grab our drill. I'm using Metabo here, part of the uh, Casa line, so it works with the Lamello batteries as well. And we shall drill into here. Until we feel no resistance. We'll do the same on the other side. our access holes then. So we'll slide in the male connectors with the Allen key access the same way. Allen key access is only on one side to ensure it's always clockwise for fastening, anti-clockwise for loosening. And we'll pop the, uh, the female connectors into this bit. Make sure we've got no sawdust there. Pop them together, line them up. And we'll go ahead and we'll use the Climax fixing tool to tighten them. And there we have it, one Climax joint, perfectly mitered with hidden fixing holes on the inside. So now what we'll do, we'll go ahead and uh, create a 45 degree obtuse angle joint something along them lines. Um, as we've already uh, created slots already, what we'll do is we'll act this as the light green part on this gauge, and this is a dark green. So we're going to twizzle it around to our finished angle, which is 45. Our joint's going to look like this. 19mm um, material, P14, 4mm packer. 
Now this indication and guidelines here is for creating the light green part. So we've already created those joints, so I'm not going to need to redo those. We need to concentrate on the dark green part and creating the connector joint on this face here. To do that and to get your measurements, it's all on the back. So what we do, because it's 45, we're working in this angle range and we will then figure out our measurements here. So it says on the green part, you measure from your outside edge to the middle of the connector. So that's from this edge to the middle of here. Uh, for this particular joint, I've already measured it, it's 20 mil. And then on your dark green part, you measure from the point to the top of the angle cut there. Um, so from here to down here, and that distance there is 19 mil. Um, again, we've already measured this to figure that out. So our total combined distance, A plus B, is 39. So we go ahead, we put the fence that comes with the machine onto the front of the Zeta. We remove this four mil packer that we used previously. Pop that back up and slide on this fence. This then needs to be set to 39, so we'll slide that up to 39 mil just on the scale there and lock it off. It then does show you a second fence. The reason for this is you could simply use your machine like so, up against the front and plunge. You have got the possibility of some rocking motion there. So for extra stability, you can purchase an additional fence. It is an extra. Um, we'll pop one on in a second, we'll put it on. That just gives us something extra to hold on to. Make sure we're nice and square. So when we do this plunge, it's, it's perfectly square. So there we go, I've popped on the extra fence. That means once I put the machine up onto the material like so, I've got an extra place to pop my hand, make sure it's all square, perfect and secure before we do our cuts. So I'll go ahead and turn the machine on. So now we've got these joints, um, as this is flat, we'll put the uh, female connectors into the top here. That way, should you make any furniture that needs to be transported or flat packed, you can stack on top of it. If we were to put the male connectors in there, they uh, won't be able to be stacked on. I have gone ahead and pre-drilled the holes on the back here, just so when we come to put them together, we can access it. So we'll get the Allen key hole matching up with the hole I've drilled. And the same on this side. Just slot that into there. We'll offer these up. Get the lateral lined up. And again, grab our Lamello Clamex tool. Give that a twist. And there you have it. One 45 degree obtuse angle using the Lamello Clamex connector. There we go, so I hope that video was helpful in creating the 45 degree obtuse angle uh, as well as the 90 degree mitre joint we created. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with all our latest videos. Thanks for watching.